Hey guys, welcome to Talk To Me Tuesday. It's Tuesday, March 12th, 2013. This is Jennifer. Um, I've been a little bit lazy the last couple days because I've been feeling kind of under the weather, so I've just mostly been taking it easy. I did do a little bit of crocheting. You can see the sky behind me. Um, this Winnie the Pooh fleece panel was actually given to me by Hard Hat Cat. And it's kind of small, but um, it's big enough to do a preemie blanket with. And what I did was um, I actually trimmed these corners with using a, this is just a little uh, Corel plate. And so I used my rotary cutter right around the corners and uh, trim the corners round. And literally you just lay this down and then go around with your rotary cutter. And then I used this blade, so if you can see that, this is called a skip stitch. And I'll put a link to this guy in the, um, in the description, uh, the, a lady, uh, she actually invented this blade and sells them on her site. But basically the way this guy works um, is you use your regular rotary ruler and then it, only, it cuts notches in fleece or denim or whatever you're cutting notches in. And then you can very evenly space your stitching. So that's what I did is, I'll pull this off so you guys can see. You can see how even the stitching is on that. And I went a little bit over a quarter of an inch in, just so that it would have a little bit, you can kind of see, it turns it under just a little. It just gives it a really nice edge. And then I did a double crochet with a chain space around just to give it a nice border. It's not, as you can see, it's not really big. It's about big enough for a preemie size, and this will go to the Linus connection. I finished another of the set of blocks from Mary, and this is what those look like. If you guys remember last week, I showed a bunch of afghans that I had made from uh, Grady Squares that Mary sent. I think I have one left. This one I actually used a chenille to join it together, and it gave it these really nice ridges. And I only had enough for joining, so I did a different um, border, but I really like the way it came out. It's very textured, and it's just a nice, pretty blanket. It's um, This is a little bit older. It's a, a longer um, afghan, so this will probably go to slightly older child. And that one is also for the Linus connection. I want to show you guys a sneak peek of something I got back a couple of days ago. Um, I have a friend with a long arm machine, and I will show you guys this after I get it um, bound but I just wanted to show you a sneak peek of this quilting. Aren't these great? These are actual trees. This is, this is my block of the month that is going to be gifted. Um, I think I remember showing you guys, I showed you the this awesome back and I put this six inch border on the top and bottom to make it a rectangle. Um, really happy with this. <laughs> this is ridiculous, it's so huge. Um, I don't know if you can see the tree shapes and the quilting on the back. But anyway, this guy just needs to be trimmed up and bound and it's going to be all done and then it'll be a gift. If you guys follow me on Sew Hook, then you know that I'm participating in a Quilting Gallery's uh, Quilters Fun Blog Hop. It's a Beat the Winter Blues and uh, my theme was sort of um, what sort of hot beverage do you like to beat the winter blues? When I get cold, I like to have a hot beverage, so I thought that would be a fun theme to kind of have on for my blog hop. And so what I did was this little guy here. This is a free pattern on So Hooked. It's called Mug O Love, and this is shaped uh, very similarly to one of my favorite coffee cups. Um, I don't have a heart on it, but I put the heart on there because I love my coffee. So I've invited everyone to win a really fun prize, and the way you win the prize, this guy is free. So just coming to Sew Hooked, you get this guy for free. Um, this is also in my Craftsy shop, downloadable for free, so you can get it on Craftsy as well. Um, but if you comment on the post where this pattern is, which is also the blog hop post, you are entered to win a really fun prize, and I'm going to show that to you guys now. There's an autographed copy of Quilt Sampler. There is a copy of In a Castle, which is one of my patterns. And there's this really awesome set of, this is holiday themed fabric. I thought since it's a Beat the Winter Blues, um, you know, time like the present, start saving for the next uh, holiday crafting spree. This was actually donated to um, me from an anonymous donor. Of course, I know who she is, but um, she's also known as the Fandom and Stitches Fairy Godmother. She sent me a huge box of prizes and told me to do whatever I wanted to with them. So these actually came from her and are included in this, this drawing. 
So I thought those would be really fun for a prize and so you get a free pattern and entered to win a prize. All you have to do is comment and tell me what your favorite hot beverage is. I've been kind of, um, like I said, a little bit under the weather, so I haven't been doing a whole lot else. I have been doing a little hand embroidery, but it's a top secret project that I can't show you guys yet, so I'm going to save that for later. Um, also, just sort of sitting on my sewing table waiting for me to feel better and come sew is um, a project for the um, Lord of the Rings block of the month that we're doing on uh, Phantom and Stitches called Not All Who Wander Are Lost. And I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of a pattern, and that's all you get to see. Um, I know that doesn't give anything away, but I do have a design coming up in March, and I have one coming up in April. Um, I have, I believe, three total in the entire scheme of the, the quilt. It is a fabulous, fabulous design. If you guys haven't seen the block yet, go to Fandom and Stitches and click on Hobbit Lord of the Rings at the top or click on the Not All Who Wonder Are Lost banner on the side and you'll see all of those blocks are absolutely fabulous. There's a nice collection of designers that are all contributing. This is a bigger quilt than the Hobbit quilt was and it's going to be fabulous. It's going to be absolutely fabulous when it's done. Um, I think that's going to be it for now. Make sure you guys um, Go back, go by uh, So Hooked, enter to win the prize. It's super easy. Just leave a comment and tell me what your fa favorite hot beverage is. And check out Fandom and Stitches. We just had um, the um, Fabulous Fandom mashup ended. And our very own Alia won with her gorgeous, gorgeous hand embroidery, uh, which was a Doctor Who Harry Potter mashup. You guys check it out. It's really awesome. If you haven't watched her video from uh, last week, she actually showed that project. It's fabulous. So... Check that out, check out Phantom and Stitches, check out So Hooked, and leave comments, and you guys have a great week, have a crafty week, and um, I'll see you next week if you're on spring break. Have a safe one, and have a good time. I'll see you later. Bye.